Hey there, how's it going guys? Um, thank you so much for joining me on this Wednesday uh, of my first installment of Catching Up with Curtis. <laughs> um, the story behind this is that uh, I've heard about Sam Barlow and, and his FMV games uh, for a while, ever since you know, I started conversation with Curtis and he's kind of picked up the mantle and is just doing some really fascinating, amazing things. And, People have been telling me about uh, her story and his game, uh, Telling Lies. And he's actually got a new one coming out called uh, uh, Immortality that I think is due to come out pretty soon. And uh, Michael and a couple other people mentioned uh, on Discord that I should reach out to him. And I thought, well, okay, sure. So I, I reached out to him, not thinking. I just DM'd him on, on Twitter saying, hey, I, you know, you're the guy who's doing FMV games. And I was in this game a long time ago. I'd be, I'd love to chat with you. And he wrote back right away saying, yeah, I'd love to chat. Let's, uh, let's hook up in a couple of weeks. So I was like, yeah, that's fantastic. And then I immediately went, I, I have no idea what his games are like. I've never played them because I've never played any games. I've played four games in my life, three games. So today is simply me, um, going to do a little research we're going to i'm going to play her story i'm going to start it and i just figured since i'm going to be doing it why not live stream it and if you guys want to pop in and say hi and it's great to see uh see you charlotte and R ricardo and chris nice to see you man thanks for for joining michael uh yeah so i say we just dive right in uh in a second i got my new background I'm trying to come up with something sort of prison like you know jail cell like uh hope you guys enjoyed the jane jensen interview i thought that went really well she was so amazing I, was, if you got a chance to watch it i thought it was fascinating to see how um you know she gets asked to to talk i'm sure all the time and i don't think she's given interviews in a while so she was clearly a little guarded when she first met me and then uh it was really fun to see how she opened up throughout the course of the, the conversation. I felt like she ended up having a really good time and she wrote a really, really sweet uh, email to me later saying how much she appreciated it and how much she appreciated your, your video, Chris. That was awesome. Um, so yeah, it's kind of fun to, to win people over. Um, yeah, she worked at HP as a software engineer. That was, that was her first job, it's crazy. To have those kinds of skills, you know, to be able to work both types of your brain. Uh, I only work one side of my brain. The other side doesn't work so well. <laughs> um, other things that uh, I haven't really prepped any announcements. Um, I, I did get in touch with uh, Victoria Marcel, and she is up for doing another game. We just... Uh, posted that on Patreon and we're getting all kinds of suggestions of what game that she and I should play next. And then we're going to do a, a Patreon poll next week. And then we will decide which game Tori and I will play. And then once Tori and I are up and running, we will get back with Daniel and I playing uh, our next game. So August, we'll get back to more live streams and, uh, and more interviews. You know, got some, I, I did get a hold of, oh, this is brand new. Um, Brad Greenquist, the actor who played the Wagnerian scholar in Gabriel Knight 2, and who had been offered the role of Curtis Craig and turned it down. I reached out to him and uh, he got back to me this morning saying that he'd like to talk. He's going to a bunch of horror conventions over the next couple weeks. I guess it's, uh, I'd be curious, I can't wait to find out what that's all about. I imagine it's because of his his role in that, uh, oh, I forget the name of that, the movie he was in. You guys will tell me. But uh, uh, yeah, I can't wait to talk to him and see what he remembers about uh, all that time. So some good stuff happening. I'm also going to start talking to some some influencers. I'm going to, I reached out to a guy named Cade Peterson who runs, um, oh, I'm going to forget the name of it. Uh, he's the CEO of a, of a gaming company. Um, and he has like 242,000 Twitter followers. And, uh, and I'm just interested in talking to people who are influencers in the gaming community and kind of hearing their stories as well. So I'm going to talk to him. I think I'm going to actually 
I'm not, I don't think, but I'm actually going to have a conversation with Daniel Albu, our, our pal Daniel. I want to get to know him better. I, I think we should all get to know him better. So I'm going to do a, a conversation with Daniel. I think it's high time. So lots of cool stuff coming up. All right. Um, yeah, it is neat to be reaching out to these people. Thank you, Eki. Uh, let's see. I'm going to read some stuff. Contra, how you doing, man? Uh, another cool one I saw lately. Holy cow, you guys are all saying cool stuff here. Hold on a second. Uh, Chris, Jane's interview was bittersweet for me. I felt a bit of her sadness that she didn't get a chance to tell stories. She clearly has in her still. I agree. I agree. I think it's a shame that she's being, you know, like it's so strange that people would keep people from telling their stories. You know, that's such a strange thing. I would like to see her get that opportunity as well. Uh, Contra, hey, another cool one I saw lately you might enjoy is who pressed mute on Uncle Marcus modern FMB murder mysterish? Okay, that sounds interesting. Who pressed mute on Uncle Marcus? I was just worried that you were telling me that I had just muted myself and I'm talking to myself. So luckily that's not the case. Uh, bittersweet was a good description. She's had so much bad luck in her after Sierra days. Really? Well, is that true? I think she's done pretty well in her romance novels. I mean, that's astounding, the output that she's done. Um, anyway, good to see you guys. Good to see you, right said Brett, Charlotte, Corey. Uh, let's go ahead and do this thing. I, I, I've done my best. OBS has not always been kind to me. I have to put OBS over on this monitor today because it won't let me play the game otherwise so the game's right in front of me which might be a better thing and uh, I tried to set up uh, the chat so that it shows up but it may not work and if not I will uh, I'll turn farmer Dan oh man thank you very much for my first uh, super chat for the day her story's outstanding so you're in for a treat thanks for inviting us along for the experience all right awesome I love you oh thank you I didn't have my my widget set up during this part. This is my bad. Oh, you know what? I'm going to make those go right now. Okay. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to do these goals. I don't have goals for today. I'm just going to just going to play. All right, let's get to this thing. Here we go. Oh yeah, it looks like there's some super there's some chat stuff happening. I hope it's all. I see Contra. Okay, cool. Yeah, send me a link. Uh, let me see. I'll try to get this all straightened out. Anyway, I don't know. The, the, the chat function may be a pain. Um, and then you guys just, oh, dang it. I know I'd screw this thing up. <laughs> All right, let me lock down that. And now let me get this guy. I don't know. We'll see. I'm seeing, you know what? I'm going to turn the chat thing off. I'm seeing, I see Contras and I see someone else's, but there's a ton of other people talking that I see in my restream chat, but I don't see it on this. So I'm going to turn this, this chat off here. And then we will live to see that another day. All right, let's play this game, shall we? Tell me, let's figure out if the sound works. You guys let me know if it's too loud, too quiet, or what have you. And here we go. I've never played this thing. I, I, I opened it briefly just to make sure the game was working. So I've seen this part. And what I, yeah, let me know about the sound. Uh, so here we go. Uh, what I could tell when I opened it the first time was that it seems to me that I've just sort of stumbled onto, like it's as though I was at, uh, uh, you know, at, at the detective's agency and there's a computer open. Hi, sweetie. And uh, George Lucas just subscribed to subscribe. Thank you for doing that, George. Appreciate that. Um, so weird to have all these phantasmagoria little sound bites in these other games um, but this is what comes up it looks like I'm on a computer and I get and I'm logged in and so I get to just poke around and see what's going on 
One thing I also noticed, and this is, I'll just tell you, this is all I've done so far, is if you go to the settings, you can do this anti-glare filter, which means it's much clearer. I kind of, it's easier to look at this way. I think the other way is cooler, but um, I'm gonna stick with the other way for a little while. I'll be curious what you guys think as we go. We might just do a little bit of both. But yeah, this looks like, you know, kind of stuff that happened in the past. All right, let's, let's see what happens. I think I just hit search. Murder has come up. And I see that there's a whole desktop. There's a rubbish bin that has something in it. We should check that out. But let's see what happens when we search murder. Okay, so I got four little video clips. Would you go from left to right or right to left? I think I'm gonna go left to right. Yeah, the filters do make it look more immersive. Um, okay, let's give this a go. 11 seconds. You think it's murder? I mean, clearly it's murder. What can I do to help? Hmm. Okay, our first clip of the day. She's, it's murder. She's being interrogated. And clearly she's innocent because she says, How, what can she do to help? Now there's add to session, user tags blank. See, I don't know what to do here. Um, I'm supposed to create a user tag and then add to session, but what session am I adding it to? I don't know the answer. Um, um, I'm not gonna add it to anything yet. I guess I can come back to this later. I just want to watch a couple of these things and see what's up. All right, this is clearly a different day. Oh, you know what? Let's check out the day. So this first day was uh, 6, 27. So that's June 27th. And this one is July 1st. So it's been a week. So they're bringing her back. They didn't, they didn't, uh, didn't arrest her or anything. Yeah, that's me. But February, that was months ago. What's that got to do with Simon's murder? Good question. And what's her t-shirt say? I want to know what her t-shirt says. If you would, yeah, soccer, me. something about soccer. But February, that was months ago. What's that got to do with Simon's murder? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so I don't know how to do this, you guys, because you're all, you guys. Uh, am I keeping notes in a notepad for keywords? I probably should be. Um, I have one hint, which is not a spoiler. Click on the desktop within the game. There is an app which helps you keep track of the clips you already watched. So this is, okay. So say I move, say I move that. Um, which one? Really? Well, let's read this stuff, right? It says, read me. Hi, here's the database. I found a freedom of information form to get you access. Everything seems to work. They transferred the videos off the original tapes in 1999, and then the Y2K thing hit and they got mothballed. No one has touched them since. I couldn't find the server with the detective's footage on. Possibly those tapes got damaged when the old archives were flooded in 97. Figured this would be enough. Take your time. SB, that would be Sam Barlow. Is there more? I don't. This is where my brain doesn't work for these kinds of things, but I guess. Let's see. Okay. So I filled a freedom information form to get your guest access. Everything seems to work. Okay. What's this? Introduction to the Logic Database. Computer technology is the backbone of modern police work. The Logic Database. You know, it's funny that 
the game has these weird little sounds, and I keep thinking there's someone behind me, but it's the game sounds. Is the backbone of modern police work. The logic database is one of the many continuing efforts to digitize our workflow and preserve evidence in a manner which will allow you to work more efficiently. In the coming years, the computer will continue to be the most valuable item in your crime fighting toolkit. This database contains footage transferred from the existing homicide and serious crime tape archive at Portsmouth. Portsmouth. It's been automatically sorted using our ASR, te ASR technology. Each statement made by the interview participants is stored separately. So they can be tagged for submission to court. Is that what I'm going to be doing? The audio has been digitally stenographed, and the content of the testimony is attached to each clip. To retrieve a clip, type in a word, example robbery, into the search field. Click search and the database will return all clips in which the speaker uses that word, okay? To narrow a search, use multiple words. Robbery supermarket, oh my god. If you are working from a printed transcript, you can be even more precise. Use inverted commas to search for an exact match against the entire statement. Yes, I was there. I'm so overwhelmed already. To store a clip for later reference, click Add to Session. Also, if you wish to add additional tags of your own to help future searches, please click in the User Tags box and type in your desired tags. Please contact your department's information technology representative. I guess you guys are my information technology representatives. Uh, all right. There's that. What else? There's nothing else. Oh, there's a clock. Why do I want the clock? Let me put this down here for now. Okay. Six, sixteen, twenty-two. No, it's not. I don't get that. DB checker. What's this? Database checker. Volume one missing. Refresh. All right, so someone said, click on the desktop within the game. There is an app which helps you keep track of the clips you already watched. It must be this, right? This is the database checker. Okay, I think. So keep that here, I guess. What's in the rubbish bin? I don't know. Mirror game? Bet you this comes in handy at some point. Cracks with class. What's the mirror game? Player one's turn. Okay. I don't know what to do. All right, let's see. Can I make this smaller? Um, all right, let me see. for keywords. I should have notes. Notes over here. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Again, remember, I am just playing enough of this game. I would love to play the whole game, but I, it's, it's really all about just seeing what kind of cool stuff he's done so that I can come up with questions to talk to him about it. So there is a sucker team. I'm going to read some of the stuff. Yeah, taking notes is very helpful with this game, says YT Wonder. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, yep, Brett's never played it either. Most definitely should be taking notes. All right, read me file and the desktop will help orient you. DB Checker, I think. Yep, they're in chronological order within DB Checker. Okay. The game is in Trevor's computer. <laughs> Stream title, Paul Learns About Live Leak. All right, all right. So let's watch. I, I don't know what to do with, oh, here's, let's see. Clips stored in user session. So let, let's, why wouldn't I store these? I guess I would, so what is, she basically says murder. And she's. 
You think it's murder? She's wearing red. I mean, clearly it's murder. She's drinking something. Coffee. What can I do to help? She wants to help. Boy, what a cool gig for her as an actor. To, I have a feeling she's the only person in this whole thing. And so what a, I got to talk to her too, don't you think? Um, what can I do to help? I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, add to session? Sure. Let's add everything to session until we know more. Yeah? I would. That's me. February? Okay, February. Right. What's that got to do with Simon's murder? Murder. February. She was there. Picture of her. Okay. Um, soccer shirt. Wonder if that comes in handy. Yeah, I'm taking notes now. Um, I can tag videos with important words. What is that? Oh, these are tags. Okay, so uh, what does she say here? Um, February. There we go. What else should I put? I got a name. What do you mean I got a name? The session and tags are basically there to help you take notes. Oh, I can take notes in this. Rather than I, I opened up a notes pad on my on my Mac, um, so user tags uh, add to session. But are user tags the same as notes? Or can I like write you know soccer shirt? I don't know why that's important. It may not be. A name comes up in that video. Listen to it again. Yeah. That's me, but February, I mean, that was months ago. What's that got to do with Simon's murder? Simon's murder. I would have loved, I mean, what a great gig she's got. That's so awesome. Uh, let's see, what do I do now? So, uh, Simon. Okay, I'm gonna add this to session. Oh, piss off conversations with Curtis. <laughs> Who did that? Somebody just told me to piss off. I missed it. Did somebody just... Shoot. Nothing showed up. Anyways, thank you. I think that you probably just subscribed. So thank you for that. Or, or, or followed. Tags are not necessary. So... Thank you for following, Mel. Appreciate that. Okay. Uh, well... Okay. Uh, Simon, okay. Say it's a great gig, but as an actor, would it not be more difficult to act without someone to play off? Oh, but you know what they were playing off of? I have no doubt that Sam Barlow or whoever was on the other side of the camera and, and playing that detective for her. And then they just cut that out. So I'm sure she had someone to play off of which would have been really fun. And plus, who needs to work with other actors? It's better, you know, it's better to act alone. Um, all right, let's go. Let's watch this one. I didn't murder Simon. You've got it wrong. You've got the wrong person. So now she's been, uh, I don't know what these user tags are, but maybe I do feel like these are notes. This, can you, does this make sense? Is this, like, can I just use these as my notes, these user tag things? Just like if I said, um, uh, she just did not denial. Murder. Um, Joseph remembers this game. I'm sure, but I meant not having another pro actor. 
Yeah, I think it's, you know, I think it's the kind of whatever gig you get, right? If, if this gig were to be presented to me and you see how this, I mean, I think it's a great opportunity. Doing a one-person show, it's kind of like what she's doing. Uh, that's, a, that's another wonderful, uh, you know, aspect of, of, of acting. You know, it's, it's all you trying to create this character. It's really neat. You know, I don't think you'd want to do it your whole career, but it would be a cool, cool gig for sure. Uh, denied Simon's murder. And that was seven. I don't know what I'm doing, but I've already done. Okay. So. This looks like the same day. She's little, speak to a lawyer now. Oh, there you go. She's got a little smut. You have no murder weapon. You have nothing. And all these stories we've been telling each other. Just that. Stories. Ooh. So she's kind of smug. She's kind of like, it looks like she's playing a little cat and mouse with this, this guy. Uh, or whoever the, the detective is. They've been telling stories. This, there's a lot in that one, right? There's no murder weapon. Notes. Um, no, maybe tag the colors of her top, then you can find the clips that belong together more easily later on. Ooh, ooh, that's a good idea. Um, <laughs> the intrigue. All right, let's see. Uh, no murder weapon. Um, I already enjoy this game. Thanks, Mel. Um, what else? She has no murder weapon, telling stories. So, stories. That's a thing, right? Ah. I don't know if do we do the. I don't know if we need to do the do it by color of top because I think that when she's wearing blue, she's going to be that the date that's up, and then when she's wearing red, it'll be that date. So I think that it's basically what she's wearing has more to do with the date, right? Um, uh, stories. What does she say? No murder weapon. Once a lawyer. I'd like to speak to a lawyer now. She's got a little smile. You have no murder weapon. You have nothing. Look at that. And all these stories we've been telling each other. Just that. Stories. 3-7-12-05. Uh, no murder weapon. I keep talking about murder weapon. I don't know. Okay. All right. So, what does this thing do? I refreshed. Okay. Oh, database tracker. But what does this tell me? Volume one is missing. I've got four things. They're on four different levels. Why and what does that mean? Okay. So, now if I want to try something else. Maybe I do uh, Simon. Let's try Simon. Okay. Oh, they're all, she's wearing blue. And these are all brand new. That's a new outfit. Plus, you got to wear a bunch of different outfits, right? Um, what's up, Johan? She's smart. Never talk to the police. Mm -hmm. Disco dance, disco dance, disco dance. <laughs> Thanks, Gaxton. 
hippo character's head pops out of water surrounded by his hippo squad. <laughs> um, let's see. She's smart. Never talk to the police as a suspect without a lawyer present. Doesn't matter if you're innocent. Do not talk to them. Yeah, but what, what you know, we wouldn't have good, you know, what TV show or movie would be good if the lawyer was always there. All right, let's see. Let's check this stuff out. 61 entries found. Access limited to first five entries. 61 entries found. You. Whoa, thank you, Sven. Pear character lying on the side, raising his arm while saying, how's it going? <laughs> it's going good, I think. Uh, all right, I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna get rid of the tracker for now. Where does the tracker live? There it is, I'm just gonna move this. I'm just going to watch a bunch of stuff. I'll take notes and things, I guess, but uh, I guess I'm just going to have to figure, let this kind of wash over me a little bit. Um, right? So this is 6, 18. So this is way earlier. She was talking in, and that's 1917. What's the time frame on these? 1918. Okay, so it goes left or right. So this is, all this happens before the stuff we just watched, I think. Simon, Simon Smith. Simon he Smith. works at Ernst Brothers Glass. They do windows, all kinds of glass. Simon does the more special work, mirror making, feature windows, artistic things, really beautiful things. Simon Smith. Holy crud. It doesn't let you. Okay, Simon Smith. Glass. Artistic. Am I doing this right? The game is not new. It is 2015, I think it came out in. Um, but uh, it was a huge, you know, it was it was super well received. Um, and they made it. He made another game after this called Telling Lies, and has another one coming out pretty soon too. So he is an indie gamer out of the UK who is doing really cool things with FMV games. Um, Said the name of the company. Right, let's hear that again. Simon. Simon Smith. He works at Ernst Brothers Glass. Ernst windows, Brothers Glass. Kind of glass. Simon does the more special work. Mirror making, feature windows, artistic things. Really er beautiful things. Ernst Brothers, I think windows was a thing too. It doesn't let you... Can I not go to it? I guess, I don't know. Do I have to do a different? I'm so confused about how this thing works. It doesn't let you use uh, Simon Smith, Windows. Maybe I just, maybe I just hit the space bar. Uh, Ernst Brothers. I guess that's it. I guess I don't need to hit the, um, I, I guess I don't need to hit the return, the return button. Um, Simon Smith, Windows, Ernst Brothers, Artistic Glass. Just take the most important info. All right, fair enough. Add to session, am I adding everything to session? Do I add them all? I mean, it seems like I'm gonna, that seems like a silly thing. If so I'm just adding everything that I watch, right? Clips stored in user session. Um, all right, let's see what's next. Um, Simon is six foot, darkish blonde hair, average build. He's clean shaven. If his beard grows, it goes ginger, so he shaves it. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with ginger hair. Uh, I bought a photo. It said a spring photo. 
This was taken last year on holiday in May. It's the best one I have. So she's reporting him missing. I think that's what's happening. She's she's letting she's missing him. Are they a couple? Are they married? Let's see this again. Um, Sam is six foot, darkish blonde hair, average build. He's clean shaven. I think his beard grows, it goes ginger, so he shaves it. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with ginger hair. Uh, and bought a photo. They said I should bring a photo. She's awesome. This was taken last year on holiday in Rome. Holiday in Rome. There was a lot going on there. Um, eh, let's see. Uh, six foot, uh, ginger beard, uh, Rome. What else? Uh, they're on holiday, average build. I guess that's enough, right? Is there anything? Rome holiday, 93. Right. Fair enough. Add to session. I'm loving this. This is really cool. It's the Rockington Arms. The Rock. It's run by a nice couple, Peter and Susan. There's some other regulars there that some likes to drink with. And the barman they're having sometimes. Hey. Peter said Simon had been in and had a few drinks. Let's do what I remember. So, uh, Rockington Arms, Arms, Helen, barmaid. I bet you they've had an affair. Uh, what else? Uh, I'll watch it one more time. It's the Rockington Arms, the Rock. It's run by a nice couple, Peter and Susan. Peter and Susan. There's some other regulars there that some likes to drink with. In the barman they're having sometimes. Hey. Peter said Simon had been in and had a few drinks. So Simon's been drinking. Uh, Peter Peter and Oh God, what was the other what was the woman's name? Peter and what? Peter and Susan? Okay. Drinks. Don't know what I'm doing, but it's kind of fun. Uh, this is so. So what's all this down here? Two hundred thirty-two megabytes local storage used. Instant file access. Looks like I'm running out of storage or something. Comes to his movement. She'll need to be specific on the dates. Okay. Good to know. Now oh, this is all the same day. This is all chronological. This is on June 18th. But we're talking about his day, the, the day she's talking about. Yes, there's an Amstrad one. Amstrad. Oh, uses it very much. There's a printer so you can write letters on it. Simon sometimes plays games, you know, can uh, save the princess. Okay, what is that? Amstrad. An Amstrad one. I'll write that down, but Games Princess. I've stopped taking notes on my on my own notepad. So all my notes are, are here. I hope that's okay. Um User tags are not meant as a memory aid. Oh, uh, really? So you just wrote them down in your own little, all right. Darn it. I like the little clicky click noises. I wanted, I wish they had a, I wish they had like a, a notepad. They should give you your own notepad on their, on their, the tags are to help you link clips together. 
I am just, my brain is never, I just, I came to this, <laughs> I came to the game world so late in life. It doesn't, my brain doesn't work this way. Um, let's see. All right, I'm going to take some more notes for myself here. What does Amstrad mean? Is that a game? Is that a computer? Am I supposed to add everything to session? Monk, monk. Uh, so when you search a term, it's going to bring up all of the clips with your said tag. Okay. In a real notepad, you can draw circles and lines like a cork board and red strings. Yeah, well, I don't, not my notepad. Oh, maybe I just do an actual, I use an actual notepad. I have one of those. That'll be fun. It's a little more. Let's do this. I got one of these more like a detective right all right let's do that um, oh it's good thank you George Lucas saying it's barely there are no rules just kind of watch everything and uh, all right fair enough well, let's just do that shall we Simon isn't the type to run off or do anything crazy. Someone must have done something to him, or there must have been some kind of accident. Okay. So yeah, good question. What is your name? What is her name? Who is she? Hi, sweetie. Hey, Chris. Thanks, man. Where, where did you? There you go. Don't think of the game of it all. Everything on screen is a tool for you to use if, whenever you want. Just try to figure out what happened. All right, I'll take that. I like that, yeah. I think I'm better at just taking a bunch of things in. And I should definitely take notes, but I think, yeah, I don't want to get too too bogged down in, in these user tags and adding to sessions and all that stuff. I feel like I get a little... Yeah, so that's good. Um, okay, so she's he's disappeared. Uh, something's happened. What do we do now? I want to see that one again. Simon isn't the type to run off or do anything crazy. Someone must have done something to him, or there must have been some kind of accident. Accident. So what do we do next? Yeah, what do we do next? Okay. Well, why don't we type something into the database and find out? Is there anything else I need to look at on the let's check out the DP checker? Ooh. I don't know what this means, but I'm getting somewhere. Okay. There's a game in here. He likes games. I don't understand what a mirror. Can I play? What is the rule of this game? Player one's turn. I don't know what I'm doing though. What is the rules? Player two's turn. All right, this is gonna come in handy at some point. I need to figure out what the mirror game is. Um, all right, so let's try, I have an idea. Let's try Rome. Let's see what Rome is all about. Just that, okay. And let's try. Uh, um, accident. I haven't seen this one yet. This is seven three. This is later when I think she's already been accused. Um, when I was eight, Mother died. She slipped down the stairs. It was an accident. <laughs> I had read a diary at that point, and I knew she wasn't my real mother. So I burned the diary that day, and I left. I walked out, 
and across the street. You killed your mom. You totally killed your mom. You're crazy. You are a crazy person. You burned your mom's diary. It wasn't your mom. She should have told you that earlier. But I, oh, I have, what's with the piano music all of a sudden? Is the music telling me something? Why? Uh, oh, it's all right, Johan, no problem. Come back next time. Good to see you, man. Um, uh, body. That's that. Let's do body. I don't know. What's with this music? Why'd the music show up? Is the music trying to tell me something? Holy cow, she has a guitar. I hear she's in a band. I hear that she's an act, uh, the actress is in a pretty cool band, so maybe she's gonna rock out. Body, okay, so let's check these ones out first. Cornerstone, this is 627, so this is before, this is after she's reported him missing, but I think before they're suspecting her. Degrees. I have a really fast metabolism, so stuff like that just comes and goes. Bruce? I don't know if there's much more that I can tell you, but I haven't already told the other policemen. I found the body. Whose body? What? <laughs> this game is awesome. So she was bruised. It happened to just disappear because she's got great metabolism. Um, I'm going to write down metabolism. That's pretty good. Or bruise. I think that's important. Uh, okay. I don't know what I'm doing with these things eventually. I'll, oh, don't let me. Um, She's wearing orange. Well, yeah, but that's it's not it's the same as before. Yeah, I gotta check the guitar out for sure. Okay, yeah, the music just gets more more cool and creepy as I get. It's because the music knows I'm getting closer because I am a top flight detective. Um, all right, let's see what else there is. She found the body. She got beat up. It was after dinner. I'd spoken to Sam's parents on the phone. I looked up for an early night and I suddenly had this thought. I think it was something his mother said. She'd been speaking about old stuff, sad stuff, about when we lived there, about the baby. The baby? There's some boxes in the cellar, nursery stuff, stuff we never needed, and I never had the heart to throw out. I suddenly remembered that when I'd looked down there the week before, those boxes, that pile was in the wrong place. I went cold all over. I went down there with a the torch and went straight to the back. And that's when I saw the bin bags. Pulled them open, saw the body. I love the clock in the background. I screamed and that's when I called the police. Oh, look at that. Did you see that? There was a little shape of a, of a dude or a person. Okay, I'm loving this game. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not quite sure. Okay, but here's what I know. She, I think, killed her mom. Uh, there's a baby. Gotta write about baby. Uh, uh, nursery. Uh, bins? Something like that. I don't know why I'm writing it here. I'll write it down here. Baby. Um, you know, so here's the thing as I'm, as I'm thinking about this for, for um, you know, talking to Simon, uh, Sam Barlow, uh, you know, 
I'm fascinated by the fact that he has, there are all these clips that are like, you know, no more than like 20 seconds or so. And that he had to figure out a way to have all of these clips that they can tell a story and that you can get to the bottom of something by not going in chronological order by finding, I just think that's really, uh, it takes a certain kind of mind to be able to, to put all that stuff together, the kind of stuff that, you know, Lorelai and Jane and all the Roberta did back in the day. These guys are, it's, it's fascinating. Um, yeah, I like the glare too. And then that, the, what was that thing? Yeah, so what's the, what do we outline? So are my computers haunted? I want to watch that again. It was after dinner. After dinner. I'd spoken to Sam's parents on the phone. I looked up from an early night and I suddenly had this thought. I think it was something his mum had said. She'd been speaking about old stuff, sad stuff, about when we lived there, about the baby. She's really good. There's some boxes in the cellar, nursery stuff, stuff we never needed. And I Didn't never need. had the heart to throw out. So their baby died? Or was I not? suddenly remembered that when I'd looked down there the week before, those boxes, that pile was in the wrong place. Cold all over. I went down there with a torch and went straight to the back. And torch. That's when I saw the is, that bin like a, bags. is that a flashlight for those guys? Bin bags. Pulled them open. Saw the body. Was he cut up? Was he chopped up? I screamed and that's when I called the police. Wait, is that guy going to show up again? Let's look for a second. Maybe I didn't, maybe I just imagined seeing it. Did you guys see it? Well, that seems like one we need to hold on to. Looks like I'm gonna run out of space, right? Oh, I guess I can't add everything to a session. Oh, I don't know. Um, no, it wasn't my reflection. It was that, it was not my reflection, was it? The lights in the room flickered and you were able to see you looking at the screen. I don't think so. You might be right, but I don't think so. Return to the Obra Din is in a similar vein, also a lovely game, not lineal deduction. Uh, hey, Sterm, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Um, what's, Ricardo, you saying, I think that's the game's subtle way of guiding you. What? What is that? What are we talking about? There was a ghost. Yeah, you guys, it wasn't me. It was someone else. You guys saw it. Uh, my character's reflection. I don't know. I think it was Simon trying to tell us something. All right, we got more. I want to see her play the guitar. But we got to see this first. Uh, I hear what you're saying, but I don't know if I'd buy it. Is that what happens to everybody? Is that it, is they, they work it out so that you always see yourself at this point? <laughs> okay, or he just says there's a reason you are doing all this, a reason for your character to use this computer database. Maybe I'm the killer. This body didn't look real. His throat. Doesn't always wear them. He's vain. Um, 
Was this? Wait, let me read. I'm sorry. I didn't watch out. One thing I think it's interesting. His body. Um, the doing these short scenes is really helpful for an actor. His throat. Yeah, okay, that was what I needed. All right, that's all I needed. Um, throat cut. Um, uh, the uh, so the nice thing about that as an actor is that you get these little digestible chunks that you can memorize. Um, when you have to do a long scene with somebody, of course, it's just going to take longer to, to to negotiate that. Or if you have a super long monologue, then you've got tons and tons of uh, words to, to memorize and you have an arc that you have to go through. But these are great because you get like these, you know, I imagine it must have been a lot easier. I mean, God, she had so much that she had to do, but he made it so that it was you know, uh, accessible and easier to do. You could really just concentrate on what you're going to do, get it done, make sure you're done with it, and then you move on to the next. So I bet you that was super helpful. Uh, okay, let's watch the guitar. Let's see what she's got. This is 7-1. She's pretty happy. I don't think she's being accused yet. Why would she have a guitar in her? Let's find out. Really? The rest. I need a body of a doctor. Pull the wind and the rain. Till the fiddler with the fiddle be walking by on a dreadful wind down there. And I made a fiddle bow off her long hair. Pull the wind and the rain. Yes, he made a fiddle bow off her long blonde hair. Murder song. Yes, he made fiddle pegs from her finger bones. It's kind of a grizzly murder song. She's pretty happy. How's the sound for you guys? So, 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 she's singing a murder song. I love it. It's a great song. He tries to make, if I'm not mistaken, he's, he's killed his lover or whoever and has tried to turn her into a fiddle. But when he tries to play her, the only thing that plays is the wind and the rain. So, can't make music from a dead body. That's one thing to, to know. Um, well, we need to know more about that song. Why is she singing? What, what, is, what do we want to know about her? She said, play the rest. So that means there's more song than... than that. There's so many rabbit holes they want you to go down, right? It can just go down so... Song... Says anything about her guitar? Um, I don't know. I'm going to add it. I guess I can unadd things later on. But let's find out the last body thing. Okay. 
So this is later. This is two days later. She's singing a song about murder song, chopping someone up, turning them into a violin. And now she's looks like she's being accused, which seems to make sense. I think she's killed her Can mom. You imagine? I tried. I tried to get pregnant too, but it didn't happen. Oh, uh, we have a baby thing. We gotta check. As it was so many boys, men. My body refused. I think my period stopped because hers had. Hers? Who's hers? I was pretty, but. Why her? How could we stay the same now? What? Felt like Hannah had really fucked things up. Hannah? Set us down separate paths. You have become different. Yeah, it's got, it should be called Rabbit Hole, the game. Uh, Hannah, okay, so she's a twin. Are there, are there two people? There's Hannah and her, they're twins. One of their periods stopped, which meant the other one did too because their cycles are... Or... Hannah, you know, Hannah's a uh, palindrome. It's spelled the same backwards and forwards. Um, I wonder if there's a reason they changed, called her that. Do we know what her name is? I don't think we do. Do we know? Yes, someone else says twins. Now we're getting somewhere. Yeah. All right, let's check out Hannah. I think we need to do some Let's put in Hannah here. Uh, she slept with so many boys, men, tried to get pregnant. Hannah had a baby. I think these are two different people. This is so excellent. And this is great. Um, let's see. It does make everything so much more complicated. Um, all right, let's, here, I wanna just see the song. Right, we're gonna get the hand in a second, but I wanna see if there's more of the song. Okay, just this. Six twenty-five, and this is seven one. So this is all right. I gotta play this. It is a totally addictive game. Have you played it before, Chris, or is this your first time watching? I guess you could call it that, but we were both, both happy to get married. Both. It was a beautiful wedding. Was it a dual wedding? We had our first dance to come back and stay. I'm not sure if that's a good wedding song, but I loved it. I like her hair I back. I it. I mean, it was genuine. Come back and our stay. Our dance. We'd never danced together before. It was probably awful to watch, but I enjoyed it. It felt like it was just me and Simon for that moment. Just the two of us. All right, I'm just gonna play around here. I mean, everything that just sort the first thing that pops to my mind, I'm gonna just see what happens. Back and stay. Oh, not stary stay. Here we go. What's that? Uh, just that. Okay. Let's check out Hannah. We have to find out what's going on with Hannah. We also have to check out Helen. I want to check out Helen first. Ooh, there is one more about Helen. And this is. 618. I wish I could figure out the difference between these dates. Like, it seemed at one point that she was, she asked for her lawyer, and I think that was after the July something or other. Definitely need to keep notes. I'm trying, but I don't, I was never a good note, note taker in school. I really wasn't. Um, but I got a brain and a mind. that from School of Rock. You gotta use your, your brain and your mind and your something else. I can't remember. Um, all right, good to know. Uh, let's watch this. Something about Helen. No. I think he spoke to Helen. She said he was upset about our argument, but I'm not sure what else he said. He likes Helen. He likes flowers. 
All right. So he's promiscuous. He blondes. Um, Hannah. I bet you there's a bunch of Hannah. I knew it. Haha. <laughs> How many are there? 18 entries. Limited to first five entries. Clips stored in the user section. Those are my other ones. Save your brain power. God, use your head, your mind, and your brain. That's such a great line. That is one of the funniest movies, bar none, ever. I could watch that movie every other day and still get something out of it. That movie just makes me laugh. Um, School of Rock. Jack White. No, Jack Black. Um, okay. Let's watch some stuff. It's a little overwhelming. Here we go. I like that picture right there. Alright, let's see what we got. Hannah. We think we saw this one already, right? My name is Hannah. Oh, you're H -A -N -N -A -H. Hannah. H-A-N-N-A-H. Or spelled backwards. H-A-N-N-A-H. They use the same backwards as forwards. Uh -huh. It doesn't work if you mirror it, though. It's not quite symmetrical, but, well, you get the idea. Sorry. Hannah Smith. I live at 31 Gladstone Street. Okay, so there's Hannah. 31 Gladstone Street. I still, I feel, still feel like I need to write it in here. I don't know why, but I do. Uh. Okay. All right. This is earlier. You are a twin. This is a twin. I bet you a million dollars. What's going on? Oh, no. Twins. What is this? Eve. Who's, what's this? Is that? Okay, that was the best scene in the whole game so far. I loved that. I loved that. So much I loved about that. Okay, Eve. It's great because you don't know who she's talking to at first, and then you realize she's talking to herself. I love that little bum 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 bum, bum with the, her uh, her fingers. I wonder if that's something, some sort of. Let's watch that again. That was really, really cool. That's just good acting. This girl's, what's her name? Got to find out who she is. Tell me who her name is if you can. A game about Enantiamor people? Enantiamor? Yeah, it did sound like a code. I totally agree. All right, let's try it again. This is Jan June 30th. Oh, you know what? Maybe she's... That was great. It's just great. She's fantastic. There's so much going on there. There's so much happening. It's really, really... So here's my thought. It almost looked like... You know, it was almost like, like the kid in, in The Shining talking to... Of the other person, you know, the 
I'm wondering if she's communicating with herself. I wonder if it's Hannah. I wonder if it's split personalities. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not um, twins, but maybe it's someone who has dual personalities. That's another thought. Morse code. Red Rome. <laughs> uh, you think it's actual Morse code? Can somebody... It, yeah, well, we'll check that out. Um, all right, I, I don't know what to write here. Let's see, uh, Eve, for sure. Um, Morse code, can I say Morse code? I doubt it, but let's see. Um, it's the first time we've heard Eve. Is Eve the other part? Is that the either the twin or the other personality? It must be, right? So Hannah was talking about Eve. Um, Tag it. Yeah, I'm tagging it. All right. But what am I tagging? I have Morse code. I have Eve. What else do I need for that? Um, Simon. I know we have Simon. Poor Simon. Um, okay. Wow, thanks. For you. It's nice to see a bunch of you all here. Thank you. I really thought it was just going to be me. I, Daniel and I were talking, and I thought that what I would probably do is just record these sessions and we just post them, but it's kind of fun since I was going to do it anyway. It's fun to do it live. And, you know, this is a good opportunity, too, for you guys. Um, commas? Great, probably. Um, you know, if... if during this process, questions come up that you want me to ask uh, Sam Barlow, throw them in here. I don't know, this will all disappear, but uh, hey, someone just did something and I see a shark dancing. Thank you for whatever it was you just did. I don't, I gotta get these widgets done better. Um, but thank you for subscribing or following or whatever that just happened um the uh yeah if you have some questions coming up I'll, I'll make sure to have discord contra if you're watching maybe we can get a uh, um a channel for sam barlow and then um, anybody wants to join the discord channel you should if you haven't already hop on and then you can uh we can all take our experience today and if you have some questions for me to ask sam you want to put them down there um, but this is so awesome. I mean, this really makes all the difference. I just feel like I'm, it makes me so much more excited to see, to talk to him. There's so many things I want to know about, um, but let's keep going. It's all about Hannah right now, but we definitely need to know about Eve in a little bit. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, thanks, House of Zoe. Yeah, this... Um, you know, I would say that as an actor, I feel like, you know, I, I had a teacher who used to say that, you know, there, are, if you think of acting as like a, a keyboard, there are certain people that can play a tremendous amount of notes really, really well. But your job is to find out what, what do you, what do you play? What range do you play in? What is, where's your sweet spot in terms of, you know, you know, doesn't, you don't have to be someone who can do everything, but find out what you do and do it really, really well. And then see if you can work outside that a little bit too. And I've always thought about that. And I feel like, you know, my range as an actor has always been, there's been a great amount of limitation, but I feel like within that range, I've, I've figured out how to, uh, I'm good at, at certain things. And uh, when I look at something like this, I really appreciate her, her technique, her, she's completely, fully invested. Um, it's all adding up to something. And, uh, and I see it and I really, uh, I, I, I identify, I'm a little envious. I would love to have a, this would be a kind of thing that would be really, really fun to, to do. I think that this is, in my range as well so i'm really having a lot of fun watching watching her her work i can see why he cast her um yeah so okay let's watch more about hannah Ooh, 
I love this. This is so great because then now she's on a, a lie detector test. Yeah. This is so cool. Yes. My name is Hannah Smith. Oh, shit. There's a lion at the water. Sorry. Her character lifting some hey, weights, saying, nice. keep it up. Thank you, Amy. I don't understand the pair character thing. What's the, you guys, oh, I got two of them. Uh, Eki Burt, thank you. The 90s were a crazy period for gaming. It seems like some breakthrough piece of technology was coming out every other day of the week. So it's sadly not surprising that FMB got overshadowed so fast. Yeah, I feel like it could have gone it could have gone a different way. It could have really, uh, you know, it just it just ex imploded so quickly and disappeared. And it's so great that people are are finding new and exciting ways to, to play with it. But boy, if it had, if it hadn't disappeared for you know however many years, how much farther could we have, have gotten with it? You know. Um, but yeah, thank you both very much for your your kind support. Um, I've had two people say something about pair character, lifting some weight saying, so I don't understand what pair character means. You have to, you have to enlighten me. I'm taking this in a different direction than you did. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know how anybody can go in the same direction, right? I mean, it's all about what you're, you know, you just hear a word or two and you put it, put it in. Yeah, so I don't know. Exactly. All right, let's watch. So she, she, what did she do wrong here? Yes, my name is Hannah Smith. Oh, shit. Sorry. So I like that. That's definitely just good writing. So she, what you learn there, I think, is that she's supposed to only say yes and no answers. So lie detector. Would it be lie detector? Uh, um, but she says her name is Hannah Smith. And we're, I'm trying to figure out, is she Hannah? Is she Eve? Is there more than one person? So that was a good little moment of, uh, I don't know, lie detector. Let's try that. Um, but there's like 18 of these, right? So access limited to the first five entries. Let's just keep going. Across the road, where my parents first lived there, was a midwife called Florence. When Hannah was born, I was born at the same time. She's, she's the midwife was there to help. Split personalities. I'd been throttled by the cord, probably wrapped around my neck by Hannah. Ooh, twins. The midwife told my mother I was dead. But I wasn't. She wrote all this stuff in a diary. That she burned. Amazing what people will admit to on paper. Okay, that was... That, that's not me. That is not me. That is someone <laughs> There's a... That's gotta be Simon. He just looks a little bit like me. No, that wasn't me. There's no way. Did you see it? Did you guys see it? This is awesome. My brain is just like, there's so many things. Uh, okay, so this is Eve talking. We gotta watch this again. Here's what I got from this first watch. It's Eve talking. She talks about how she was given up for dead or thought that she was dead that the umbilical was going to kill her but it didn't um, it was written down in a diary let's write down diary um, midwife I'll do a comma Chris see if that works um, and but I'm not convinced. I think the big question is, is uh, are they really twins or is, uh, does Hannah, is, is Hannah and Eve split personalities? 
Yeah, okay, you guys saw it. You guys saw it. You didn't see it? Okay, well, you, there's a, a person that shows up in the, it, it's like you see a, a guy as it, as a silhouette shows up. You see it for just a second. And you guys tried to convince me that it was me, but it's not. Oh my goodness. It's 1.30, we've been doing this for an hour and a half. That's crazy. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep this one. I'm running out of space. I guess that means I can also um, erase the one, certain ones, and then add more later. Uh, let's watch this again. 39 seconds. Across the road, where my parents first lived there, was a midwife called Florence. Florence. When Hannah was born, I was born at the same time. Okay. The midwife was there to help. I'd been throttled by the cord, probably wrapped around my neck by Hannah. So they don't get along. The midwife told my mother I was dead. Why? Florence, why? But I wasn't. No. She wrote all this stuff in a diary. Amazing what people will admit to on paper. Florence. that that was July 3rd all right this is all uh, July 3rd was a big day for for our friend Eve and or Hannah okay what do we got here what year oh 94 so this is a this is like uh, and I, I didn't talk about this originally so what they're trying to get us to believe in this world is this is sort of um, found footage, right? This is something that happened a long time ago and they were able to digitize these tapes much like we recently did with the Fantas 2 tapes and they are now available for us to to find. But who am I? As, as Sturm said, who, I am a character in this game and who am I? I'm that dude. I'm whoever that guy is that showed up. Oh, so someone, Joseph had an aha moment. <laughs> I've seen the Hecatomb, but maybe, I don't know. He was, this guy was handsomer than the Hecatomb. All right, let's go. Let's see what this one is. She recognized me from the window. Hi, sweetie. She told me to come inside, and she hit me. We had made the attic into a place where Hannah could play. It was a dollhouse. She hid me up there. No one else ever went into the attic. It was her place. <laughs> okay, wait. See, see. More stuff's happening. That was a. That was. We heard a little siren. I love this. This is so great. Um, um, hid me. Okay, now who's talking? It's Eve. So Eve was taken from the mom didn't realize that she had two babies the the florence the nurse hid the baby up in the attic eve and then hannah could come up there and play is that right let's hear this again mm. she recognized me oh. from the window she told me to come inside and she hit me we had made the attic into a place where hannah could play it was a dollhouse. She hit me up there. Who's she? No one else ever went into the attic. Hannah did or Florence? It was her did? place. It was Hannah's place. Dollhouse, right? I don't think I get this one. So she recognized me from the window. You 
guys are discussing whether what the what year the when when this is supposedly taking place. Um, all right, let's. Do here. Uh, okay, let's let's check out Eve. We gotta do Eve, right? Yeah. Oh, this is the same day. What day was this? Oh, that was the last one. So we're gonna we're gonna lead. Oh, this is great. Morse code Eve Simon. And that was six thirty. Okay. And again, what did she say here? I'm just going to watch the first part. Okay, so she's Eve. Yeah, okay. So let's do, I think, let's do this. This is awesome. Oh, you guys are talking all Windows OS 5 stuff and what you remember. All right, let's get back to the game, you guys. Not about that. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay. Well, my friend Evie. My friend Evie. She was a friend from when I was a kid. She was a friend. She was always more popular with the boys, and I used to hate her for it. You're Hannah now. Really, really hate her sometimes. There's two drinks. Oh boy, I'm confused. She's definitely she's she's bipolar, or whatever, schizophrenic, or whatever you you know. She's got the she's got two personalities. She's Eve and Hannah, is my guess. But let's watch this one more time. Well, my friend Evie. I mean, she was a friend from when I was a kid, and she was always more popular with the boys, and I used to hate her for it. Eve was more popular. We really hate her sometimes. Okay. All right. Why are there two drinks? And what is that thing? Was that thing there before? Yes. We'd fight. We fought on the beach once and I held Eve's head underwater. There was no one else around. We were at the far end of the beach and I held her head under. And I kept it out. And for a moment, I just wanted to kill her and watch her drown. But that was it. It was just a moment. Just a moment. We made up afterwards. It was a love hate relationship. You're giving a lot of information away. You probably should have a lawyer present. I think you're a killer. Uh, <laughs> I was just going to read a comment from Stream Elements. It said, YouTubers, please consider a super chat donation. I'm like, hey, that's very nice of this Stream Elements person asking everybody to give a donation. But that's actually me. I wrote that a long time ago and then I typed it into the widgets and bits. They're not widgets, but the the bot chat so anyways we way, way to go stream elements um yeah i don't think that's a good thing to mention <laughs> murder investigation that you really wanted to kill your best friend but how is eve i thought we were it's a little confusing right there's best friend eve hannah there's we were twins umbilical cord the midwife um so she's talking to, oh wait, let's take a look here. Let's watch this next one and then. Um, beach. Um, so what are the, what's the time here? So this is all the same time. So that's 1550, so that's three o'clock, right? Almost four o'clock. That's just a little bit later. 
And that's a little bit later. So I bet you they're going to leave here. Is that like a, uh, do you think that's a, um, an ice pack? I want to figure out. Maybe I can just do the date. Can I just do it by date? The police station. Yeah. When I was young, we ran away on my birthday. Bob Dylan was playing in London and we thought we could break into his tour bus and have him take us with him. The taxi driver we paid to drop us off. I mean, we'd saved money, pitched a bit here and there to pay for the fare. He was suspicious because we were so young, so he told the police. So they came and picked us up and took me back to Portsmouth. My mum picked me up from the station. But I blamed everything on my friend Eve. So your okay, hands me off. Okay, so we got Portsmouth Police. I think I wrote Portsmouth down at one point. Bob Dylan. I don't think Bob Dylan's gonna fare too well here, but it'd be great if he made an appearance. Um, but now she's saying that they're friends, and then we get to this one. Let's go back to this. So, They've left. Are you talking to yourself? What did I just do? She says. What are you doing talking about me? Okay, why are you? Well, she's talking to herself. And then they do the Morse code thing. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm going to do the date here. Um, you're starting to get confused. I'm totally getting confused. Uh, hey, the real Canadian rage seems to know Whitey Wander. Well, I'm glad you guys saw each other again. That's nice. Good to see you both. Uh, all right, I'm going to read some of the comments because I haven't seen it for a bit. Oh, so... Yeah. Uh, keep oh people trying to uh, uh, all right so let's see for chat that was me maybe not a great thing to mention in an interrogation concerning a murder right sounds like a higurashi fanfic i don't know who that is i've been reading near kami lately though uh just try to keep quiet right exactly uh, I'd love to know the meaning of the Morse code. If anybody could find that, that would be awesome. Is it an evidence bag? I don't know. Yeah, I have no clue. Looks like it might be an evidence bag. More people are saying that. Okay. You should check out the infectious mind of Dr. Decker. All right. It can be Googled. I don't want to say unless Paul asks for it. It doesn't spoil anything, but he might find that as walk through kind of stuff. Yeah, you know. Go for it. I'd love to know what the Morse code is. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, how you doing, Winter? When has she referred to herself as Eve? I thought that when she was saying Hannah, 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 she was Eve saying Hannah, Hannah, Hannah. And now I realize that she's talking to herself. So at this point, I don't know if she ever has referred to herself as Eve. Of course, things will make sense later on. Yeah, we're all getting confused. Um, Hey, I'm glad you guys enjoyed that. I'm glad you liked the Jane Jensen interview. Okay, we're back. Yeah, so um, I'm going to put the date in, see if that does anything. <laughs> That's so true. Ceylon says, poor Simon, his death has been dismissed in favor of possible twin conspiracies. Yeah, it's true. I got off the case a little bit, didn't I? Um, but you know, we got, there's a lot going on. Six 
3694. Let's see what happens here. It all 30 oh, 94. What does that do? Nothing. Okay, so we can't look things up by dates. Um All right, let's see. There are so many things. Bin bags, I'm gonna put bin bags. Just the one, okay. Um, okay, throat. I put throat because I know Simon's neck had been cut and here's another one from that session hold on okay you guys are talking here uh, uh, Joseph Austin let's see I conversations because the first time the Morse code is bad Hannah the second time is love you see I do think she's inhabiting two people uh, talking to oneself is a sign of genius of course there's also a thin line between genius and madness good point spooky she also puts her head down yeah by Hannah instead of bad Hannah probably by Hannah thank you yeah that's awesome um, it's just more intriguing it's more intriguing um, there's a cup for Hannah and a cup for Eve and then an evidence bag I want to know more this day to me seems very this seems like a very important day this this June 30th day let's see what this one says aha What? Oh. In his throat. How? So here's another thing that I love about this. I, I, I imagine, you know, uh, looking at Sam Barlow's, uh, if you haven't, you should check out the um, trailer for the new game that's about to be released called Immortality. And it looks like he's got a a bigger budget and there are much more um, locations and uh, numerous actors and I think there are numerous actors in Telling Lies too so but this was his first game and so I imagine he had a very limited budget and to come up with a unique and interesting FMV game uh, and not go go out of control on, on your budget. You had to come up with the perfect footage. And to just have one woman in an interrogation room, it's just genius. Um, because it, it spans numerous days and dates. Uh, it allows for this expansive sense of, of putting these clues together. But it's all done, you know, with a static camera. One actor that we clearly, uh, that is clearly very good. And uh, it's it's really really smart. What a, what a smart way to, to to get your career off the ground. And, and now he's able to do, go bigger, and and uh, he's he has found more funding and success. So I think that's awesome. Uh, yeah, I guess he did do budget big budget games before. He was part of uh, he was part of a different company, I guess, right? Uh, yeah, but it's a, such a great idea. Um, all right, you guys, I'm gonna have to take a quick little break here. I need just a couple seconds, so I'm going to do my little be right back, and then we'll do about 15, 20 more minutes, and then we'll uh, and then we'll call it a day. Let's see. But it's awesome. I mean, I've got 30 or so people here. This is so nice to have you guys here. Let me see if I can find my be right back screen. There it is. I'll, see, I'll be back in just a sec. All right.
All right, what you guys been talking about? Uh, Bob wouldn't have taken a break. You're going to need to step at the game, Curtis, if you want a big promotion. Oh, he would have taken a break. He takes breaks all the time. Um, am I already? No, you guys are. All right, don't tell me what. I can't be that close to beating it already. Uh, um, yeah, it does seem like this is the kind of game that... Uh, there's a famous forum question where someone asks how they know when they can stop playing, and the answer is when you are satisfied. So they ask, how do I know when I'm satisfied? That's a great. Um, yeah, this is really good. You know, I don't know. I'm going to keep playing. I, I, I think um, uh, I have to keep playing now because I'm, I'm fascinated by it. Um, I don't know the best thing to do in terms of... Um, you know, maybe what I'll do is just when I'm going to play it again, I'll, I'll just let you all know. And it might be different times of day based on uh, my schedule and such. But uh, I would like to play more of this game. And I definitely want to play a little bit of Telling Lies. So I think I have a couple more weeks. Um, it does sound like uh, Sam's response to me. Here, I'm just going to move over to uh, this here. There we go. Sam's response to me on that on the Twitter thread was, um, it looks like they might be pushing their game back a little bit. They may have already announced that, so maybe August 30th is the, is the new release date, but he's clearly working on that. So he had asked for just a little bit of time, which I was really grateful for because it means I can play this game and get to know his work a little bit. So as long as, until I get a, a, a conversation date locked down with him, I'll just keep playing this and getting telling lies. But here's my here's my theory at this point. I think she's I'm I'm pretty sure that she is a split personality and Eve or Hannah killed Simon. That's what I got so far. Something like that. Um but let's play a little bit more, and then and then we'll uh, we'll come up with another time. Let's definitely play one more round, and and so let's it'll either be next week sometime, or I'll let you know when. So okay, here we go. Oh, I gotta. And I appreciate your comments. It's fun reading your guys' stuff. Oh, let's check the uh, DB checker. Ooh. Also, I want to know what this game is all about. I think the game in the rubbish bin has something. Oh, you know what? Does this and this connect in some way? Is there something here and here that... I don't know how to play mirror tiles. I don't know how to play any games. Um, is it like Connect 4? So it looks a little bit like Connect Four and Tic Tac Toe. All right, let's watch. Do we watch this one already? Let me just. Oh, this is the the throat. So what is that? There's it's an evidence bag. It's is it like a. Let's watch this one more time. What is in there? In his throat. In his throat. We'll find that out later, I guess. Okay, let's go. Turn you off. Like I said before, it was three, something like that. So this is July. I walked in, saw Simon. On the floor of the living room. His throat had been cut. There was a lot of blood. Yeah, he was dead. Wait, was that real? So you go, see, see, see? Another thing, another thing. Um, Okay, so this is, this is not 
So at one point, she said she saw Simon's body in a bin bag up in the attic. And it sounds to me like that was the first time she had noticed his body, that he was dead. And here she's saying that she sees him laying on the living room floor with his throat cut and he was dead. So again, who's talking here? Like I said before, it was three, something like that. I walked in, saw Simon. It was on the floor of the living room. Living room floor. His throat had been cut. There was a lot of blood. And then there's seagulls. Yeah, one's dead. Why seagulls? Were these real seagulls? Or is that, uh, and that means they, is the police station by the beach? They talk about the beach when she tried to, when she tried to kill Eve. Or he just says, the body was found in the basement. She was locked in the attic. The body was found in the basement. Uh, oh, the body was in the basement. Okay, all of your theories are very nice. Remember the lawyer video from the start of the game. Lawyer video. These stories we've been, okay, telling each other. They're just that, stories. Well, yeah, good point. We'll get to the bottom of this. Damn it! They're not gonna. They're not gonna outfox me. You're not gonna outfox me, Hannah. Her story is that she'd waited for him to come back. Her story being Eve's. She put on my wig. Aha! Uh -huh. My clothes. Your wig. Pretended to be me. Why did you have a wig? Are you wearing a wig? They talked. She'd enjoyed being me. He said. He wanted to be with me. Then he took out a present. Another mirror. Another mirror? Just like the one he'd given her earlier. <laughs> that unique present. Yeah, this is this is new. Important she went for... crazy. Smashed the mirror. They argued, screamed. He hit her. What? So she grabbed a piece of the mirror and just swung it round. She cut his throat clean open. She only meant to scare him off. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's true. Come on, come on. The guy, we're gonna see who he is? It's gotta be Simon, right? Um, all right, dang. Uh, I have to stop, It's it's uh, it's been two hours. I could totally go on. Does this just... Here, I'm gonna... Turn this thing off. Okay, uh, let's see. Oops. There we go. I think this just saves. Pretty sure it just saves, right? I'm going to quit this logic session. I'm going to quit. All right. All right. Um, dang. This is a... Oh, am I good? Okay. Looks like I'm good. This was awesome. This is a great game. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I, I, I get it. I have a total sense of what, what he's doing. Um, I'm completely hooked uh, just as a game player. Uh, I love this form of FMV work i think what he's doing is amazing i can't wait to talk to him about it glad it auto saves good to know um yeah it was a pretty chill session uh and i hope uh, that's okay it's just these i think of these whenever i'm playing by myself and i don't have daniel or tori or if i end up getting other guests down the road i feel like those are sort of our official you know 
gaming days. And this is uh, really, it's just research. And I, I appreciate you guys coming along for the ride and, and, and um, joining me. And uh, it's just fun to spend a little time. Uh, there's so much great stuff out there and I'm, I'm thrilled to be doing this. So thanks everybody. Have a great uh, rest of your week. Happy hump day. And uh, if you're on Patreon, please uh, look for the poll that will be uh we're getting some great suggestions about the next game that tori and i should play and we'll we'll create a poll and then we'll uh make a decision and we'll start uh, the first week of august so that'll that'll be there too all right guys uh have a great one if you can please like before you go like everything um you know like the video subscribe if you haven't join our discord uh, would love your support on Patreon as always. Please consider. And uh, we will see you guys next time. All right. Have a good one. Bye.